Hey guys, it's Roger again. So today we are back at uh, Balsam Bay, Lake Winnipeg. It's gonna be a brutal day today. We, the weather forecast says it's uh, gonna be about 50 km winds and minus 37 degrees. So we're gonna tie down the tent pretty good and have the heat and full blast. Hopefully the fishes are biting today. I have doubts they will because how cold it is, but see what happens. We are right now trying to see if there's any way we could cross that ridge from last week. It was a huge crack that was there. So we're driving along it, trying to see if there's any area we can just drive across. After driving about 10 minutes along that ridge, we decided to just stop and fish because we're using up lots of time trying to cross and we don't want to miss the morning bite. So we're going to set up kind of close to it again. We're just trying to um, align the trucks so we can uh, block off some of the wind when it starts to pick up and won't make it too cold in the tent. It's usually a good idea to use a vehicle to so block the tent away from the wind. Oh, nice. Well, that was fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good start. You get flash? Ah, uh, yes, I do. There you go. Yeah. Stick to my finger. Get that off my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Right there. Yeah. I was like, oh, get out of here. <laughs> I was trying, I gotta get, try to. It's gone. Oh, please, it's getting chilly in here. And I should bring my other heater. I have it there. I have my other heater here as well. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 
That's fun, guys. Yeah, but it's two of them, though. Yeah. Uh, this is okay. Look ahead, chicks. Oh, I got off. How did it get off? No, it's still coming straight. It's coming straight up. It's been hooked, it's been dragged to the loose. Which I grabbed from Tim Hortons. Using a grill that uh, attaches to the big body. And I use it to warm up sandwiches or pizzas. Also, I cook hot dogs under. It's pretty handy grill gotta be careful when you're taking it off because it gets very very hot got both heaters on one on full blast and one on low Oh, he spit it. Oh, <laughs> sh no. I did not like that hook set. Yes, yeah, it's too close. Yeah. See this stuff? No. no I'm going to just say. Come back. Come back. way. That well, that's one? a couple of fish, I think. Yes. No, that's one big fish, right? Oh no, yeah, there's definitely one behind. That's one big fish. Where'd he go? Like it's a barber, maybe? Oh, Hola. Good size water, too. Eat it. That thing was high up, man. Yeah. Oh. A nice walleye. What's that uh, crunk called? Is it Jacko? Is it? Yeah, it's Jacko. Is it Jacko? Yeah. Pretty, pretty, uh, yeah. There you go. Three fish.
12 then. The first one was bigger. Yeah. Still there, so yeah. Oh, it came high. Yeah, as you can see right now, we have uh, two heaters on. It's very windy outside. And uh, the body, big body heater on high wasn't enough. So I grabbed my sunflower and had two, had both on, then it was too hot. So we put the big body on medium and kept the sunflower on low. And it seemed to be, seemed to be good now. <coughs> yeah, it's pretty windy outside. Tent is tied down at all points. So there's no chance of the tent being blown away or blown in. Covered with snow and the flaps all the way around. I'll show you a video later of outside of the tent, how it looks. I'm too worried about running off today. <laughs> no. Yes, right now it's really windy out. Got all the straps down, all tied down. Oh boy. Yeah. It's extremely cold out there. There you go. There you go. Uh, there you go. It's coming faster. Missing. Another one. Two of them coming. Chasing you down. Uh, lost it? Yeah. What? There's two of them. Let's wonder it again. 
waiting for um, looking for the next bike that's there. And so this fall bike on the knee curve, on the bum, the only thing that I absolutely love about fall, I think everybody can say this, is one, it's absolutely gorgeous. You're seeing these fall colors, and there's just nothing better about being so out one's that thing, man. Nice. Nice. You see? You see? You see? Oh. Long the hole. Oh. Hmm. Oh yeah. Nice. You want uh, one more free limit? I'll show him. Yeah. Well, well, we got it, right? Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was gone. Just Yes, the bite slowed right down. We were still marking lots of fishes, but they were not interested in what we were presenting. We tried tongue sizing, we tried just jig and minnows, and whatever we presented, they just uh, ignore it. Some show a little interest, but when they get closer, they just turn away and don't even uh, try to bite. Come for you now. Yeah. Oh, it came hard. We stayed fishing for another two hours and decided to call it a day. Don't want to be stuck uh, in the cold and that strong wind when it's dark. We just packed up the tent, rolled it up and threw it in the back of the truck because it was really, really windy out there. And uh, yeah, so it wasn't but a bad day. Still caught some fishes and hopefully next time we do better. That's all we can hope for. That's it guys, until next time, thanks for watching, Tetlines and be safe out there.